Have you made whipped cream frosting from scratch only to have it melt after you've covered your cake with it? In this video, I'll show you how to make stabilized whipped cream frosting using only four ingredients. I'll be sharing an important tip later in the video, so be sure to stay until the end. So let's get started. You'll need three cups of cold, heavy whipping cream, half a cup of powdered sugar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and half teaspoon of cream of tartar. The cream of tartar will help to stabilize the whipped cream. Also, the cornstarch in the powdered sugar serves as an additional stabilizer. These ingredients and measurements are listed in the description below. First, I add the cold whipping cream to a mixing bowl. Next, I'll use the whisk attachment with my stand mixer to whip the cream. I whip the cream on medium-high speed until it thickens. The whipped cream should now look like this. Next, I add my powdered sugar and cream of tartar, then continue to whip for a few more seconds. Next, I add the vanilla extract. Don't forget to stop and scrape down the sides of the bowl. After whipping for a few more seconds, the whipped cream frosting holds its shape like this. Be careful not to over whip the cream. You'll run the risk of turning it into butter if you're not paying attention. A spatula should glide through the whipped cream frosting with ease. Now for that tip. This frosting can be easily colored with gel paste or oil-based food color. You'll want to avoid liquid food color because it can dilute the whipped cream and make it too soft to use. Place the finished whipped cream frosting in an airtight container and store it in a refrigerator. This frosting has a very subtle sweetness to it and is of course light and fluffy. This frosting will be good for up to two days when stored properly. If you want to learn more about cake decorating, subscribe to my channel for more tips and tutorials. Be sure to give this video a like and share it if it was helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching.